I'm still dedicated to playing bigger. And what it means is when I do go to the office, when I do put in time at work, I'm focused, I time block, and I make sure I get the right things done. Hey CRISPRs, it's Zane Obaji. Hope you're doing well. I uh, wanted to tell you a little bit about the CRISP effect. I went to UC Berkeley and graduated in 2005. I went straight into law school. I knew I wanted to be a lawyer from a young age. I thought I wanted to be the type of attorney who was in the courtroom all the time. But my older sister, who was an attorney and a litigator, transformed into a transactional attorney said, stay away from litigation. So I got into land use. And in 2007, my, during my summer clerkship with a big firm out here, land use was gangbusters. During May 2009, I had eight billable hours. In any event, eventually became a litigator, got a job at a firm, fine-tuned my litigation skills, but realized I was not gonna achieve my dreams, and eventually formed my own firm. We started publishing in the Easy Reader as I posted before. The Easy Reader is a publication that's sent throughout the Los Angeles South Bay to our residents' homes. This is uh, September's issue and it has our mayor, Bill Brand, on the cover of it. Now, uh, if you flip to the back, we have a full page ad that says, never has so much been at stake. And it talks about Californian employees' rights to safety at work. and goes into some detail there and how they cannot be retaliated against for complaining about an unsafe environment at work. The mayor suggested to me, because I'm considering a run for city council here, uh, and if I'm so lucky to get his endorsement, he said, you know, there's a Redondo Beach page in the Easy Reader. You should advertise on the other side of the Redondo Beach page so that people get used to you. My vision for next year, I'm gonna get that vaccine. We're gonna get back to trial. At trial, we're gonna hit two seven-figure jury verdict for our employee clients because that's what they deserve. Unfortunately, during COVID, we've had to settle sometimes where the clients are just running out of patience or the defendants put out a good enough offer to make them go away. I want to continue to grow our team. We've got a stellar team. I love every one of our team members. They're great. We've got five attorneys currently and one support staff. I like to add one more attorney to the team in the fall and get our current support staff to be a manager. Single greatest thing about 2020 was this girl, Everly Berkeley Obaji. She showed up, she was healthy. She grew tall, whoa, already 25 inches at three months. And she sleeps through the night. Now, the next best thing was I formed a group of staff and attorneys that is top notch. Uh, and that was exemplified this week when I had to assume baby duty because our nanny's not starting until January. So the firm had to be on autopilot. On Tuesday, I appeared in, the po in opposition for a motion for summary judgment. Uh, my co-counsel appeared with me. He argued it. I just chimed in with a couple words at the end to get sanctions against the opposing party, and we won. My plan in 2021 is to generate a profit from my law firm. In 2020, we broke records from a revenue standpoint, but we spent more than we got, which is probably due to the CRISP effect. Now we can fix that in 2021 by being more conscientious auditors of our expenditures and our return on investment. All right, CRISPRs, what am I gonna do in 2021 to grow? I am going to focus on my mental health. I want to be happy and uh, we've had some rough times during 2020. We've got a great baby who's super happy. So I just wanna spend good quality time with her and also get back into physical health. Uh, so I wanna get back to beach volleyball, running, biking outside, especially as the weather gets better. It's really cold, like a whole 60 degrees out here in Los Angeles. So there it is. Hope you all do well too. Take care. Bye-bye.